Hello everyone and welcome. Floor levels are one of the most primary ways to get started and stay organized when starting a project. Um, if I'm working with an architect and he or she gives me a set of plans and sections elevations, I would like to first look at the elevations and I want to establish my levels. Uh, I don't want to start putting in foundation walls, um, framing into the, into the model without not knowing what the levels are. So in this video, we will explore how to add and manipulate the levels in our project. Right now, I'm in a level 2 plan right now. And I can't do anything. I can't change the heights of this specific floor plan. And, and each floor plan is associated with a level. So right now, if you see the, uh, in the project browser, level 2, this is the level 2 floor plan. Now, if I, wanna, if I do want to change the height of this floor plan I will have to go to the project browser I will have to go scroll down and where it says elevations you have east north south and west let's click on east and when, once you do that you have elevations here you have a level datum so a datum is an element and a data element is a organization element that establishes some known location in your project so for level one, the known location is zero. It's a horizontal datum. And for level two is ten. Now let's click let's first click on this level. Now as you click on this level, uh, they have small control and grips as you can see here. So you have this little circle, little this little grip. If I want to move or change the extension of this level, I could just click on this and I could drag this line towards the right. right. And as I change the top level, the bottom level also moved with it. And that's because it's, it's this lock icon. Now if I click on that and I move it, it's only going to move the top portion of it. Uh, let's hit Control Z. And again, you have that lock icon, so it's going to move together both the level 2 and level 1 levels. Alright, now uh, let's say I want to change the name of the level. So you could come over here, you click, click on it twice. Level 1, let's call that first floor plan. Alright, so now as I click towards the center of the screen is going to ask me a question would you like to rename corresponding views if I click on yes what's going to happen is it's going to change as I change the level name here so it's also going to change the level name on my project browser and my for my structural plans now if I click on no it's going to change here but it's not going to change in the project browser here so I'm just going to click on no so you can see what's going to happen so I click on no it changed it over here but did not change over here in my project browser now let's control Z one more time uh, and let's do it again but this time I'm going to click on yes click on yes it's going to change in my project browser as well as in my elevation view so let's also change the level to to uh, second or plan Boom. yes now let's say I want to create another level there's a few ways you could do it one way is that in the ribbon here in the structure ribbon you go to the right and you see this little symbol right here level LL. Now, if you type in LL, it's going to create, you could also create a level that way too without clicking on the ribbon. But I'm, I'm going to click here and let's see, I'm going to start over here. So, uh, right now it's at six feet away from the second floor. So, I'm going to click there, I'm going to hold the mouse, and then I want to set it there. So, I'm going to release. And boom, level three, which is six feet away from the second floor and is 16 feet away from the first floor. 
okay and again I could change the name of this I'm just gonna leave it as is uh, another way you could create a level is if you type in LL you could also create another level that way so without clicking into the ribbons which could be faster you know, actually you don't have to hold the mouse I thought you had to but you don't so boom that's my level 4 now let's say they're very close to each other now another way you could create a level is you could right click you could create similar and then here <clears throat> on my pick lines you click on that and let's say I want to offset the <clears throat> level let's say by two feet you could also offset it now <clears throat> I can't read this and I, and I don't know what's going on so what you could do now you could click on this level and there's this little squiggly line right here I could click on that and, and I guess when you click on that little squiggly line you're gonna add, add an elbow uh, you can see that I could now manipulate this level by clicking on, on this grip and bringing it up this way <clears throat> clicking on this grip bringing it, bringing it like over there so on now even though this this uh, this line over here the, the center line here stays the same does not change however I could change the elevation over this one but does not change the elevation overall the 23 feet stays the same so I could move this up and down it's gonna say 23 feet no matter what right um, and I think I think that's it for now um, yeah it's very very simple to do this and again <clears throat> when starting a project you always want to know your elevations first know your elevations put in where it's supposed to go uh, the elevations and now you know ways uh, of how to type in how to change the elevation how to create uh, elevations or levels um, thank you I hope you guys had a good time watching this video and uh, have a great day